so here's the solar panels, there's three of them. They're 120 each. That's 120, 240, 360. So the wires for the solar panels come in through the roof, and I've been a bit cautious by putting this stuff here to stop rainwater coming in. So the wires come down here, and they're fused separately here. So the positive and negative of each got a fuse in them, just to be on the safe side. Those wires then run down to the charge controller here. Um, and the charge controller controls how much electricity is going into the battery. And it's fused as well. So then those wires then go down to this battery here. Excuse the rustling. So the battery charges up from the solar panels. Got another fuse here. So just to be on the safe side here. And then you've got two other wires attached, another, another positive and negative, which go up to this inverter here, which is a 1500 watt pure sign inverter. And it's got two plugs and some USBs. Currently, there is an extension lead over here. And the freezer is actually on. It's been on for the last eight months. As you can see, it's frozen. <laughs> One little trick uh, to do if you're going to do this is to put a penny or a coin into a little pot like this, but f so fill some water up first and make it into ice, and then put the coin on top. And that way you'll know whether it's defrosted or not. So, what else do I do? I boil the kettle. I can boil two full kettles a day on this and have the freezer going. So what happens is each day I'll boil the kettle enough to fill a three litre urn full of hot water and that stays hot for 12 hours. Um, so you, you've got hot coffee or tea whenever you want it. Um, I can also cut my hair in here. I've used the hoover on the lawn, which is a fake grass lawn. Um, we've had the filter for the swimming pool going for it. I've had a fan in here because it's going so hot as well. Um, in the summertime, I think, if I looked at the charts on my app, because there is an app that goes with this charge controller, I was pulling in about 1.5 kilowatts a day. A day. <laughs> and on an autumn day like this, I think it goes about 700 to 800. I really do want to put an extra panel on the roof, but I can't because it'd be facing the wrong way because it's going that way. What I may do is put a solar panel here on the outside um, just to give it that little bit more oomph but yeah you can do loads in here and you know you could you could cook in here if you wanted to I've got a little sandwich maker which turns into a little grill I think it's like 700 watts which is which will be easily facilitated by the um, inverter so yeah you can do a lot you could probably live in here if I added that extra soda panel yeah I forgot to mention that there's also this one here turns on that's an inverter at 600 watts um, that's the very first um, inverter I put in and then I put, then I put in this one because I was quite impressed with getting free energy <laughs> to be blunt uh, that goes down to this 50 amp hour uh, battery both the batteries I've got are lithium I started off with one, like one, one of those car batteries a leisure battery um, but I found that it wasn't charging quick enough these charge really really fast the way that this system works is a little bit weird because this is an inverter and a charge controller at the same time so i think what happens is um, there's a one solar panel up there that i've got it's 100 watts does what i need it to do that goes into the power for that goes into this charge controller that goes into the battery and then the battery sends it right back somehow i don't know how and it's got a plug on it right there so you can plug anything into it and there's a, an extension lead right here so there you go there's my little solar shed if you want to ask any questions about the way that this works or what you can do with it i'll try and help just ask a question in the comments